Yo, what's up guys? Uh, real quick video, I wanted to show you guys what uh, now JS is. <coughs> Basically, now JS is for real-time global deployments. I uh, found out about it today. Uh, boss told me about it. And basically, this is even easier than using something like Heroku. Literally, the only command that you need, you need to enter your email and now. And obviously, if you want to you know, configure a database, that's you know on you. <coughs> But, uh, so like you can look at uh, the pricing and you get 20 free deployments per month. And if you want to, you know, go beyond that, they have these other plans, but, you know, just to try it out and like see how fast you can get it up and running. So let's, let's go ahead and try it out for ourselves. So you're going to need Node, obviously. Uh, so let me install, uh, That works. Uh, well. do, 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 do. Let me get the latest version of Node real quick. Uh, we're going to need two things first. We are going to need, let's go get the latest version of Node, uh, which is 6.7. I'm going to install that real quick. You, you can actually set it in the engines for the package.json, but uh, we're just going to go with the latest version of, of Node. And cool, so let's go ahead and install that. Let's let that run. Writing files. Okay, and that's done. Awesome. Let's go ahead, go back in here and type in no dash dash version. Now we have 6.7. Awesome. And so, what we want to do now is install uh, npm install g now for the global flag. So, we'll do npm install dash g now. And that should, you know, download it for me, and get me up and running, and I'll show you guys really how freaking fast this is. It's insane. Once it gets up, uh, I mean, Heroku is pretty, pretty simple as well, but uh, you know, still with that, you know, you still have to monitor, you know, all the things like dynos and um, you know, your proc, proc file and. Uh, just a lot of stuff overhead. This is like a wrapper, you know. We look today uh, at where where it's actually be, being hosted from, the the domain that they set up for you, and it was AWS. But you know, it could be anything depending on you know how cheap um, you know they want to uh, scale it out to be, or uh, just you know just acting as that wrapper around everything. So uh, hopefully this finishes soon. Um, and like you, you can see right here, deploy with now, and then all, all you need to do is uh, just hit just hit now and deploy. And so you can re read about more of the docs here. Um, let me try that again. sudo npm install g now, and I need to change my permissions. Let's try and run that one more time. So pretty cool. Um, looks like it's pretty recent and it says that here at the bottom I think our first Node.js version in production and since then we built some of the most popular and enduring open source modules and frameworks such as Socket.io yep I've used that a lot and Mongoose the most popular MongoDB object uh, document mapper I use that all the time as well so that's pretty awesome um, you can also do static serving uh, we're just going to use the regular command, even though it's just going to be a static site. But uh, hopefully this will uh, get it up and running. Uh, so you can also define specific builds. Um, and this is just showing you, the, you know, the configuration. HTTP2. And says the other mi missing feature is the response code instead of returning 404 when something is not found 403 when the permissions are not met or 500 when something goes wrong you'll end up creating a new ad hoc codec for errors that only show only your own system understands all right cool so we have now so let's look at now and the version number so we got 0.251 awesome so let's go ahead and go into my desktop and make a directory called now static and then 
let's go ahead and change it into there now static and let's touch a server.js make a directory called public touch a package dot json and let's vim into the package dot json and uh, let's go ahead and save that let's do an npm install express dash dash save let's get that up and running for us come on express you can do it let's take it so long <coughs> Okay, so after that we'll just wire up our basic uh, server components and then serve up a static file in our public uh, folder. So let's hope this finishes pretty soon. Alright, cool. Uh, we got that. And now let's go into cd public ls and then we'll touch index.html. Let's vim into index.html and uh, we'll just say h1 hello from now uh, global deployment and then we'll just uh, close that off and let's go back out a level and let's go into our server and let's just set it up so we'll say our express equals uh, let me make that a little bigger equals require express and like always, bar app equals express, expose the top level function, do app.use express.static, and uh, we'll take a directory name plus slash public. Finally, we'll do app.listen 3000 function. And we'll do console.log and listening on port 3000. Awesome. Probably won't change that to the process environment port, but let's just try it out. So we're just going to type now and watch it enter my email. And this is pretty crazy. Check this out. Waiting for confirmation. Oh, crap. Uh, all right, let me go ahead and log in then. So let me get my confirmation link real quick. All right, cool. And then let's just confirm. Awesome. Close the window. And missing start or, oh, let me add that script. So we'll do npm init. Okay. Do, 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 do. Yes, I'll try it now again. It's deploying. There it is. That fast, guys. Check that out. Initializing. Oh, it's already copied to the clipboard. Check this out. Here it is. Watch this. Do. Hello from Global Deployment. Look how freaking fast that is, guys. Um, and, you know, maybe I want to change one more thing around in here. Check this out. So we'll go back into CD Public. I don't want to use all my deployments, but we'll go vim index.html and you know maybe we want to uh, make an h2 here. Go ahead and do that. Say h2 hello again. And uh, let's go out. Do now again. Watch this. Uh, cannot access a package.json. Oh, my bad. Say now. Here it is. Deploying. And here's our next deployment. And here it goes. One, two, three. It's installing, starting, listening. Hello again. That fast. So, yeah, guys, just wanted to show you that video on how to, or that tutorial on how to use now. So, really fast to get your uh, applications up and running. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, if you liked it, make sure to like, comment, and please subscribe and support the channel. It means a lot. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.